Hello everyone! Welcome to my video blog and Happy New Year to everyone! Etong topic na i-discuss ko sa aking video blog ay tamang-tama kasi alam ko na pasabak tayo sa maraming pagkain nung nakarang Pasko at bagong taon, di ba? Party dito, party doon, at during Noche Buena, ayan, maraming masasarap na pagkain na nakalakad sa hapag na hindi mo talaga matanggihan. May mga solutions tayo para bumalik kayo sa dati niyong alindog. Ayon, balik alindog project tayo ngayon. <laughs> Pero bago ang lahat, ang pinaka main goal ko sa aking video vlog na to is um, definitely to discuss some tips on how we can lose weight at the same time correct some misconceptions about gaining and losing weight. It is a common saying na kapag mataba ka, ano yung sinasabi ng karamihan? Napaka-slow kasi ng metabolism ng katawan mo. At kung payat ka naman, kahit kain, ng, kain ka ng kain, at hindi ka tumataba, sasabihin nila, oh, ang bilis kasi ng metabolism ng katawan mo. That's what we believe before. But, it's a misconception, actually. Pero unang-una, before we go deeper into our discussion, ano yung metabolism? O, yung may estudyante ko sa university, anybody who wants to answer that? Can you raise your hand? This is a graded recitation. <laughs> At yung makasagot, may plus 5 bonus sa midterm exam. <laughs> Joke lang. Okay, so, ano yung metabolism? Well, sa simple explanation, ang metabolism is uh, a process in our body na kung saan yung mga kinakain natin or inilalagay natin sa katawan natin na nutrients, ikino-convert ng katawan natin into energy. So, that's basically what metabolism is. The, or, um, in some books, they would say it as burning calories. Yes, burning calories. Because when we burn calories, we convert nutrients into energy. Unang-una, the factor is body size or body mass. Siyempre, if you have more body mass, if you have larger body size, so kung mataba ka, they said na, you actually burn more calories compared if you are thinner. The more na mas malaki yung katawan mo, the more na kailangan mo ng energy, di ba? To go on with your activities. Kaya, yung cells mo, kailangan din mag-double time na mag-burn ng calories or mag-convert ng nutrients into energy. So, it's the opposite of what we know before. Kaya, hindi talaga totoo yung kapag payat ka, mabilis yung metabolic rate mo, no? Kapag mataba ka, actually, mas mabilis yung metabolic rate ng katawan mo at mas Grabe ka mag-burn ng calories even if you are not doing anything, even if you are sleeping. Second factor is the gender or sex. Ano sa hula nyo? Sino ang mas mabilis mag-burn ng calories? Lalaki o babae? Well, the sad truth is, yung mga lalaki. Mas mabilis sila mag-burn ng calories kaysa sa ating mga babae. Bakit? Because they have more muscle mass. Or they have more muscles in their body. They have more body mass or they burn calories faster than females. Third is the age. So as we get older, we have lesser activities compared when we were younger. This is true because based from my personal experience, you know, way back in my 20s, <laughs> um, isa sa mga paborito kong sports is martial arts. And as far as I could recall noon, every Sunday, yung training namin would start from 8 o'clock to 12 noon, straight yun. And imagine, I was able to sustain that. At 1 o'clock, grabe pa yung energy ko. And at around 1.30 or 2 o'clock, until 5, iba naman activities yung pagkakaabalahan ko. And that's dancing. So imagine, one whole day on a Sunday, wala akong ginawa kundi mag-exert ng mga physical activities. And when I get home at night, may energy pa akong mag-aral at gumawa ng mga um, materials para sa mga kailangan ko sa pagturo the following day. But uh, right now, I'm already in my 40s, by the way. I'm not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> Ngayon, hindi ko na kaya. Uh, at around 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the evening, inahantok na ako at pagod na pagod na ako. In fact, after my last class in the university, wala na ako energy niyan. Also, according to research, there are also two factors that um, could let us gain weight faster nowadays. One is a sedentary lifestyle. Halos wala tayong exercise na. Lahat instant kasi. Kasi as far as I could recall ng mga bata pa kami, kapag magluluto kami, magsasign for example, kailangan pa namin magsibak ng mga pieces of wood para ipanggatong. Yes, I was able to experience that when we were kids. Pero ngayon, wala na. Meron ka rice cooker, saksak mo lang, ayan. Meron ka ng sinaing. Or yung stove, isang click lang, makakapagluto ka na. So, 
lesser chance to burn calories. Another thing is um, eating high caloric foods. Na ngayon, since na uh, meron ng cellphone, napakadali na communication, kapag tinatamad ka magluto, yun, isang tawag lang sa McDo, Jollibee, makapag-order ka ng pagkain. And these are foods that are very rich in calories. So, these two factors, high caloric foods, walang exercise, tataba ka talaga. So, knowing these facts, because I always believe that knowledge is power, at least alam natin kung paano tayo atake sa ating balik alindog program. Kung sinasabi nila it's because of a sedentary lifestyle, we have to exercise. Yes, I know. Um, easier said than done, right? Kahit ako, nahihirapan din. Well, um, para sa akin, grab every opportunity that you can have in order to burn calories. Take for example, in my case, um, irarelate ko na lang sa sarili ko para at least hindi niya sabihin na napakadaling sabihin pero ang hirap gawin. Um, early in the morning, mahirap sumakay <laughs> ng tricycle dito sa may samin papunta sa university na tinutuan ko. And in fact, yung area kasi ng university na yon meron pang parang palikuan na road na talagang sasadyain ng tricycle drivers. So, um, what I did is, para hindi ako mahirapan sumakay, sinasabi ko na lang, pupunta po ako ng sentro. So, um, ang ginagawa ko niyan is, pagdaan doon sa may area ang dapat liliku sila, bababa na ako sa kanto at maglalakad na lang ako. So, ilang metro lang naman yun. And that's my way of at least burning little amount of calories early in the morning. Minsan naman, um, kapag may kailangan ako sa fifth floor ng isa sa mga building doon sa university tinuturuan ko, hindi na ako gumagamit ng elevator. So, hagda na yung ginagamit ko. That's also a good opportunity for me to burn calories as well. So, hindi ko talaga kinakailangan pumunta ng gym para mag-burn calories in a day. So, yung mga simple things na yon. Na yung iba kasi, um, I, I don't know, perhaps you're not feeling well or perhaps masakit yung paa mo, um, ayaw maglakad. Talagang, kung pwede meron pa jack or <laughs> um, tricycle, talagang gusto nila door to door. No! Kung pwede ka malang maglakad, maganda naman yung panahon, grab that opportunity to at least burn a little amount of calories. Another thing, um, I grab the opportunity to, you know, do the household chores. Yung paglinis lang, pagwalis sa may bakuran nyo, nagpaburn ka na ng calories niyan. Maglampaso sa sahig. Okay? It's a good way to burn calories. Diba? Although, in my case, aside from those things, I dance. Dancing is really my passion. Aside from that, um, for me, it's a good opportunity to burn calories. It's a good opportunity to maintain my slim figure. And I'm succeeding. Na, okay lang sabihin ng iba, ang tanda-tanda na nito, sayo pa yung sayo. Ang exercise ko yun eh. Diba? So, yun, walang basa ganang trick. <laughs> Pero, uh, that's my case. Pero yung iba siguro, baka mahiling mag Zumba, um, pole dancing. So, one tip, Grab every opportunity that you can have in a day to burn calories. Either it's brisk walking, doing the household chores, um, a little dancing, and, and so on. Another thing is, magda diet ka. Mahirap din yon. And I do understand. Kahit nga po ako, hindi ko kaya yon. Hindi ko kaya talagang andyan yung masarap na pagkain sa harap mo. Tapos ikaw, mag abstain Nako, feeling mo niya napi-api ka, di ba? So, how do we solve this? We can minimize. Perhaps it's not a sin to have a small taste of it. Pero tama na yon. Talagang when it comes to food, yun ang kailangan ng disiplina. So okay, kumain ka ng lechon, kumain ka ng crispy pata. Pero kung noon eh nakakaubos ka ng isang plato, magano. <laughs> Gawin mong half plate na lang. <laughs> yon. So kailangan mong bawasan. And as time goes by, masasana yung chan mo, masasana yung katawan mo. And for me, um, ang grabe talaga magpataba, magpalaki ng chan, carbs. So, bawasan mo yung rice. And one technique that I discovered is eat foods with high fiber content. Not meat. So, sabi nyo, oh, yung meat may fiber content yon. <laughs> Hindi. Um, I'm talking about cellulose. Okay? The fibers that we find in fruits and vegetables. So, kailangan mong magdagdag ng pagkain na maraming gulay at putas. Because they are heavy in our stomach. So, ang ginagawa ko niyan is, kaya nga, as much as possible, gusto ko may gulay yung kinakain ko. So, konting rice, or nakakaya ko nga minsan na no rice at all, especially if I won't be exerting so much um, effort in a day. So, more on gulay. Kasi, for example, ang isang 
um, plato na maraming gulay, masyado na siyang mabigat sa tiyan. Na-experience ko na hindi mo kailangan talagang mag-rice. So, kaya siya. At first, o, oh, iba. Kasi tayo mga Pinoy, nasanay tayo ng may kanin, di ba, sa kinakain natin. Pero, yun ang talagang kailangan ng disiplina at willpower. It's hard first, but it's the best solution, I'm telling you. Okay? So, I hope uh, this simple tips that I can give you can help you with Balik Alindo program. Okay? <laughs> So thank you so much for being with me in my video blog. Kindly hit like if you like this video and please subscribe to my channel. This is Tess signing off. Happy New Year everyone!